Hello YouTube, welcome to Case Technologies. In today's video, we're gonna talk about more bash scripting, for loops, list, and how to create files from those lists and for loops. All right, let's go ahead and open a new file. If you're using whatever text editor you're using, I'm using Atom right now. You're just gonna come, new file. Well, let's go ahead and save this file right away so that the system knows what type of file it is. And I'm gonna name it. Mm, let's see, create files. Dot sh remember that bash scripts in with dot sh yeah, I can use that too All right, <clears throat> and I already set my user environment to bash, so the system will pick this up and recognize whatever bash version I'm running and execute this script according to that environment. So first, let's start out with just a simple for loop. For, and, and for loops are good because you can easily work through a number range, a list, um, multiple like items, and set certain values according to that list or those like items. So right now I'm just going to do a range and the numbers. And I'm just going to say 4i and sequence 1 10 do Echo, this is number I. And the sequence. And then you want to end every for loop with done. So let's go back to the first line. So for I in sequence from one to 10, echo this number. So what it's gonna do is, for each number in the range of one to 10, it's gonna do this statement. So it's gonna say this is number, when it starts out one in the sequence, number two, all the way to the number 10, to when it hits number 10, and it's gonna go to the next line and say done. So we're gonna go ahead, save that, and open up my terminal. And I can see that the file is right there. So let's say bash create file set sh. <clears throat> and it only printed the first and the last one. And I think it's because of my uh, oh actually. the back ticks let's see let's save that let's try it now there we go this is number one in the sequence two three four five eight nine ten and it prints each one just from that sequence right here from one to ten and we don't want this the first one and the last one all right we can also create an array and make it print each one in the array. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna create a list of peoples. I'm 
Johnny, Ashley, Sam, George, Brent. All right. And this is going to be. Oops. Let's get the dollar sign here. And the angle brackets. So now, this right here will represent the list, and this will say every, it's a wild card in Bash, so it's every item within that list. We want to grab it for I in this list, so we want to look at everything in this list, do this statement. This is I'm gonna change the statement to be relevant. Hi, my name is and it will go through each one in order of how they're set in this list. And say hi, my name is Johnny, Ashley, Sam, George, and Brick. So let's go see it. Let me clear. Same thing, bash, create files. Hi, my name is Johnny. As you can see here, I make that a little bigger. Just in case you're on your mobile phone. Hi, my name is Johnny. Hi, my name is Ashley. Hi, my name is Sam. Hi, my name is George Brick. So now. Let's get back to this files. Let's say we want to create a bunch of files. Um, mm, let's say file names equal Let's do days of uh, let's do months. All right, so January. Let's say you're working for a firm that has to track their data for each month. So you need a file that contain that data that contains that data for each month. February, March. Let's do abbreviations. January, February, March, April. Hell, let's do that's good enough. Oh, August, all right, all right, that's cool. And we're gonna call this, we're just gonna do months. File names. All right, and we're just gonna come down here, change this to file names. And what we're gonna do is echo you. This is the file for month. All right, and we're going to get a little more detail. I'm going to say for month and file names, this is that. And we're going to send this statement to the file name, and we're going to create it all at the same time. Well, actually, let's start like this. We're going to do touch, and then we're going to say month. Say dollar sign. Oops. Month. We're gonna create month dot text. And then we're just gonna send this output to that file. That 
txt. <clears throat> so these are all our file names. And this is what we're going to say for month in the file names list. Do this. Create the file on this line. And the way to comment, let's make a comment so we know where we're at. Oops. The good thing is Bash isn't sensitive to um, spacing. All right, so we're going to say create. Same file. All right, so now we should see, I'm gonna do use the ls command to see in this directory that all the files have been created with the proper names and format. So it looks like they have been. Let me open this up a little better so we can see it. And actually I'm Kind of reduce the size a little. All right, so we have all the muffs. <clears throat> all right. So I'm gonna open up every file that uh, ends with .txt because I know that's our file type, and it didn't get populated in there. So somewhere the variable is not adding up. Oh, here we go. I forgot to change I to month. So let's run it again. Clear. All right, all the files are in there again. So let's do cat to take a peek on what uh, to take a peek inside and see what's in the files. Boom, there it is. This is the file for month April. This is the file for month August. February, January, July. And it, we want to see that it was actually done on a per file basis. We can just say, we can take a file, the April file. And there you go. April was in there. April was with April. May is with May. And so on and so forth. Now, you don't have, we can take this statement out of it right here. And the same thing would happen, right? But this time we're going to do, we're going to append, which means we're not going to overwrite the file and create a new file. We're going to add to it. And then we're going to say, this is another statement. Send that to the month.txt file as well. So let's go back here, execute the script. All right, it ran. So we see the timestamps is updated. All right. Now we're going to go to April. It has three state lines in there. This is the file for month April twice, and this is another statement from the month of April. So we know that just add it to it. It didn't overwrite it. We're going to start this one off to make it overwrite it so that it starts off clean. And again, that's this one greater than sign rather than two. All right. So let's run it again like that. And cat April. Now we have two statements. So the first one 
clears the file out and just adds that first line. And then the second one appends to it so we don't lose that line. And that's essentially how you would go ahead and write a script using a list and a for loop. And to create automatically create files, you can use this um, to create multiple files, to create records, add multiple users, or add a lot of data to a file all at once. This is the, the beauty of scripting. Um, this is why one reason why it's useful. Um, you can do a, a lot in, in, in a, a script like this. You could also add an additional line at the end of this just to see what's being created after each one. And let's do a sleep in there so that we can actually see what's going on. Sleep for two seconds. And I do the LL command, which I already have an alias and shortcut for to list the contents of my directory. It's not picking that up. So we're going to do LS. LS8. HRT. We're going to do ls dash lhrt and let's see. All right, it's going to execute and add to it, add to it, keep updating files. We see all the ones over here. They're going to update it. All these files are changing to get 13s on them, updating the time. See how that changed. They're all 11s and it started to change to 13 as we went through them. And that's it. Thanks. Comment, subscribe. Let us know what, if you want to see any other type of videos. Uh, also remember to share with any other folks that you know might be interested in learning more. Uh, and if our site can help, send them our way. Thanks again.